Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, today in this video, if your BlueStacks is not responding and it's not giving you a good performance, if it's lagging a lot, with the help of this video, you will be able to make your BlueStacks way faster than earlier. I'll be telling you some settings for especially low-end PCs, people who have 4 GB RAM and BlueStacks performance will be better than earlier. Make sure you watch the whole video. Because if you miss any single step, it might not work and you might not get the better performance. So let's get started. So firstly, you just need to open the BlueStacks. Now once the task manager is open, you will find processes, performance, app history, startup, users and detail. So we need to go to details. And here in details, scroll it down and look for hdplayer.exe. So this hdplayer.exe is a BlueStacks service which is running the .exe file. You just need to do a right click and we need to set the priority from normal to above normal. So what happens when you give this priority to above normal then it will take little higher resources of the computer but it will make sure the performance of the BlueStack is better and if you have any lag issues and not responding in BlueStacks, this will fix this problem. So this is a first thing which we need to do, change the priority. So once you click on that, it will ask you to click on change. And once you do that, just close the task manager. And now we need to go to BlueStacks. Here in the BlueStacks, click on this menu icon. And then we need to go to settings. Now, in the performance tab, that, that's the very first option which you will get in your computer. Check how many scores you have and here we don't have to select high, we don't have to select low. We need to go with medium. So just select two. So if it's high or if it's low or if it's custom, make sure you select medium one. So if you have 16 cores, you will select four or eight cores, whatever is there in the medium one. Once this is done, click on this memory allocation. Now here is here again we don't have to select high, we don't have to select low. Just go with the medium and the performance mode. It should be set always on high performance. And because if you do not select high performance then it will not take resources from the computer. So this is why it's very important to select this high performance and this frame rate in if you have a low end pc you don't have to make any changes but if you have a high end pc which supports more than 60 fps what you can do is you can click on enable higher enable high frame rate so once you turn this on it can be max up to 240 so then you can switch like this and adjust but since it's a low end pc i will not go more than 60 fps all right so that's a very important step which we have done in the performance. Once this is done, you just need to click on save changes and restart now. So once you click on save changes and restart now, it will reopen the blue stacks for you. So we just need to wait. So it's starting blue stacks now. And here we need to go to this menu again and go to settings. And this time we'll go to display. Now here in display, there will be a recommended resolution. So I can see a recommended resolution 1920 by 1080. So this is my recommendation. Whatever the recommendation you are getting, just select the lower than that. So if you're getting 720, then make it lower 960, 540. And since I'm getting 1920 by 1080, I'll select 720. And if you're getting the recommendation 720, then select this 540, like that. All right. So I'll not be selecting the recommended one. I'll be selecting the lower one because lower the resolution, higher the performance. All right. Always understand this. So I'll select this one. And here in the pixel density, if you are using a low end computer, then this 240 DPI is absolutely fine. Any which way you don't have to make any changes in pixel density. All right. And 
mouse cursor style let it be like that you just have to click on save changes and restart the blue stack not the computer so let me just make a change so that it ask so once we click on save changes it restarts now so it is opened again and we will go back to menu again at the very top then settings and here we will go to graphics that's a very important part now in graphics if you have a graphic whether you have a graphics card or not you need to select performance the legacy mode the performance legacy mode needs to be always selected because if you select compatibility then it it will not give you a good performance all right so this one should be selected and graphics render it should be always open gl all right and interface renderer will be auto or and this astc texture so make sure this is disabled because it creates cache in the computer and it should be disabled gpu in use it's it's showing intel graphics to 2500 so this is my uh, graphics which is showing but make sure this astc texture should be disabled so what we have done so far we have changed the performance display and graphics and we have also set the priority to above normal for blue stacks so once this is done you just need to click on save changes and save changes is done so i'll simply close it and i'll close it from here there is one more thing which you need to do once you close the blue stacks just do a right click on the taskbar and go to task manager and here go to the startup item make sure you don't have any unwanted startup item in the computer because what happens when you restart the computer if you have too many applications at that startup then it will most probably take the resources of your computer so you don't have to disable your graphics audio or any antivirus program just think whatever just check whatever the things applications which you do not need at the startup you can open them later but you don't want them at startup so you just need to do a right click and here you just need to click on disable since it is already disabled it's asking me to enable it so in this manner we are all putting off too much load from the computer and there is one more thing which we need to do just press window and r key together on a keyboard and this will open up the run window and i'll just maximize and here we just need to type app wiz dot cpl so once you type app wiz dot cpl hit ok and this will open up a new window programs and features from here as well you need to uninstall the applications which you do not use so let's say if you don't use winrar or any other application just select it and click on uninstall because if you have mistakenly installed too many applications it keep on using the resources of the computer and that's why you do not get the good performance in blue stacks so once this is done you just need to restart the computer and see how exactly the blue stacks working for you let me know in the comment section if it has fixed the not responding and the lag issue of blue stacks or not please let me know in the comment section if it has worked for you and hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day